Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you C tags and how to jump to function definitions or variable definitions in Emacs by using C tags in C code. First we're going to download C tags. That's pretty straightforward. We just go to the GitHub uh, account from Universal C tags, C tags. Then we scroll down and we look for Windows. This tutorial is of course for Windows. And there are daily builds for the CTAX Win32. And we are looking for the zip packages from the release page. And we can just um, choose whatever release we want. We can just go with the latest release. And now we have the option between the 32 bit and the 64 bit zip file. Basically, we just download the zip file and we extract it in whichever folder we want ctax to be in and that's basically it um, after extracting it it should look something like this there we go that's the ctax folder as you can see here that's the executable and we just simply run ctax from the command line and ctax is going to create a tax file and emacs is able to read the tax file and with that tax file emacs can jump to variable definitions and function definitions and i have prepared a small example to show you how that actually works i'm just going to go to the c text demo here we go so as you can see i've got uh, two c files not perfectly named but that's fine and we're going to simply run ctax in our command line and we need two additional options one is minus e which is the tax file for emacs and the other is the minus r which is recursive so we run ctax and now we have a tax file as you can see so let's take a look at Emacs. So now we're in our little example code. Um, it's nothing special, it's just to, to show you how the code actually works or how uh, CTAX works. So if we want to, for example, jump to our multiply function, we can hit meta and dot. Uh, meta is alt on most keyboards or x uh, escape of course not x escape so as you can see we hit alt dot and now emacs asks us for the text table and the default is text so let's enter text and as you can see we immediately jump to the function definition for multiply and we can also jump right back by hitting alt and comma there we go. This also works for, as you could see maybe, we've got a header file. We can also jump to the header file, of course. Let's see, our struct is uh, defined in the header file. And as you can see, we immediately jump to the header file and we can instantly jump back by using alt comma again. And I guess that's pretty much it can jump to the struct variables we can basically jump around wherever we want and that's how you use ctax thanks for watching